Hi everybody, I'm Evan Margolis, and uh, this is the cold brew system that I just purchased online. Willow and Everett, you can get it for $50. The reason I did this was because I was spending tons of money in Starbucks on cold brew every single week. I was wasting money, wasting my time having to go to the drive-thru and, and, uh, and buy, I, I even bought myself a gift card in order for me to be able to be buying these cold brews every single week extremely expensive and I wanted to to do something different which is make my own cold brew and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. It's really simple. It only takes a, a cup and a half of, of the coffee you want to use. I would say to be a little bit generous with the cup because the last time I made cold brew it didn't come out so strong. It was very very light. So I realized with this specific house blend Starbucks coffee Buy it. You can buy it at any supermarket, you can buy it at any Starbucks um, for like $8.99. Um, so you start off by using this filter. This filter comes with the Willow and Everett kit. I'm going to put the link in the description. But this is the filter it comes with. It's very standard. You can see inside, you pour the grinds in. So I'm, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this filter inside of the jar. Sometimes you got to like work it in there. So there it is. Right now you can see it's inside. So when you pour the grounds into the uh, into the jar, the gallon jar, by the way, for each gallon, you for each gallon of water, you do it a cup and a half of coffee, and you need a little bit more. So about a cup uh, a cup and three quarters. So I have a cup right now, a little more than a cup of coffee. I'm gonna pour it in here into the filter like that. Then I'm going to pour myself another three quarters of a cup of coffee into a little bit more than a half a cup. So right now it's about a little more than a half, so almost three quarters of a cup of coffee. Pouring that in there, just like that. I have my my uh, Brita filter, it's a gallon's worth of water of Brita. I would use just a regular Brita filter, should work perfectly fine. Or if you want to use Poland Spring or whatever other uh, bottled water you would prefer, I would never use just from the faucet. But take it like this, you pour it in. Just like this, even with, even with the, uh, the filtered ground coffee, it'll go straight in perfectly fine. Just like so. Nice and light, nothing too fast. And once you start brewing, you can brew anywhere from 12 to 24 hours, depending on your preference. I usually wait about 24 hours for my cold brew to come out um, the way I want it to. And then when you're done, after 24 hours, you can just take the filter right out. So once you take the filter out, you'll have fresh cold brew, put it in the fridge, and then that's it. And then this, this gallon's worth of, uh, of cold brew should last you about two weeks, save you tons of money. And it was uh, just a great purchase, and I'm very, very happy with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck out there.